Wolfpack, Wolf Pack, and welcome back to Term 4. I'm Paula Cibulo. And I'm Gabby Bonblon. Today is Tuesday, March 22nd, and we're here with your morning announcements. Congratulations to Haven Figueroa, who was selected to receive a $25 gift card to a store or restaurant of her choosing. You will be contacted at some point this week so you can let us know which gift card you want. If you are interested in being part of the COHS cheer team, clinics will take place from March 30th to April 7th. Anyone interested in trying out is welcome. Scan the QR codes in the top left corner to register for the clinics. Attention juniors and seniors, fall and prom tickets are on sale for the rest of the month. Prom is on Saturday, April 9th from 7 to 11 p.m. here at CO. Tickets are $45 and formal attire is required. There will also be food available for purchase. Don't like to dance? No worries. There will also be a game room and a movie room. Speaking of prom, Culinary is hosting a fundraiser dinner to help raise money for junior prom. Tickets can be purchased at the student store or with the school site controller. With the purchase of a dinner, you will also get a prom ticket. There will, only be, there will only be 100 spaces available for the dinner, so get your tickets fast. Email Ms. Henderson for more information. Now let's pass on over to Dylan Desai for your sports update. What's crack and Wolfpack? I'm Dylan Brazier. And I'm Josiah Edwards. Welcome back to your sports update. Congrats to our track team for competing at the Sheldon Invite this past week. Oh yeah, great job to Andrew Bishop and Christopher Okotsu for getting third and fourth in the 200 meter. Congrats to William Coe for a stunning performance in the 800 meter and getting first. Let me tell you, that one was fun to watch. Exactly. His kick at the end was insane. Mm -hmm. Great job to Matthew McDonald on getting second in the two mile race with a time of 9.54. That is absolutely crazy. That's nuts. Amazing work by Joseph Garcia getting 112 feet in discus and a first place. London Miller got second in the 100 meter with a time of 13.62. Fantastic job. Great job to Emily Coe for getting third in the 800 meters with a time of 2.37. Dang, she dangerous on the court and on the track. <laughs> Congrats to our softball team on beating Laguna Creek 2-0. Tomorrow they take on Ponderosa, so go get them, Wolfpack. Our men's volleyball team and baseball team also play tomorrow. Volleyball takes on Franklin, and baseball takes on Vista Del Lago at home. So stop by both games and check it out. Speaking of volleyball, let's check out our match between CO and Monterey Trail. <laughs> Free agency just started in the NFL, and bro, we have some amazing moves. For real. I don't know what the Jaguars are thinking, giving Christian Kirk $72 million. They've made some whack decisions the past few days. For real. And yeah, and then also Kirk Cousins signing a one-year uh, contract for $35 million. What is happening? I mean, he's good, but he's not a winner. Very true. But let's not forget the trades that have happened the past few days. Right. Carson Wentz to the Commanders? <laughs> and Matt Ryan to the Colts. There have been players, they have had four different QBs in the past four years. They need some consistency. Indeed, but what are your thoughts on the Devontae Adams trade? I know you like that. For real. No, thank the Lord, because this is the biggest player that we needed. And to be honest, we have a solid QB, but his receivers haven't always been there. But now we might be actually, we might be able to win the first round of the playoffs next year. The Steelers got Mitch Trubisky. I don't know what they're doing, but they got Mitch Trubisky. <laughs> And the Chiefs got a nice pickup with Juju Smith-Schuster. So, so if the Chiefs weren't good enough already, they have him now. But now for the biggest news, Deshaun Watson has been cleared of all charges and has chosen the Cleveland Browns to be his next team. The Browns are giving up a lot for him. And man, I feel so bad for Baker Mayfield. Me too. Just last season, they took him to the playoffs and they won. And then one bad season full of injuries, they want him gone. They're so impatient. <sighs> exactly. But enough of Deshaun Watson. The greatest player of all time, Tom Brady, is unretiring and competing in his 23rd season on the NFL. Yes, I'm so excited to see what he can do, and let's see if he can get back to the Super Bowl. Exactly. Well, thanks for tuning in to your sports update. Back to the anchors. Thanks, guys. Attention seniors. 
As graduation comes closer, the time has come to pre-order your graduation DVD. Scan the QR code shown to order online. Ordering online is the only way to purchase the DVD or Blu-ray disc. Just a reminder that the Career Center is open before and after school and during both lunches. If you want to use the Career Center during class time, you must check in with your teacher and have an approved pass from your teacher. On behalf of Women's History Month, Student Equity Council and Equality Now are hosting a menstrual hygiene drive throughout the next two weeks in order to shed light on the importance of combating the stigma behind menstruation and period poverty. Bring donations to Ms. Munson's room in HP2 or Ms. Gonzalez's room in HK4. Proceeds will be given back to female students on campus and donated to organizations in need. Also, Student Equity Council is hosting Women's History Month Trivia Stand during both lunches this Friday. Be sure to stop by and answer some questions for a chance to win cool prizes. Hope to see you there. Well, that's all we have for you today, Wolfpack. I'm Paula Sabulo. And I'm Gabby Bombon. And remember, the strength of the pack is the wolf. And the strength of the wolf is the pack. Happy, Happy National Bavarian Crepe Day, Wolfpack. Wolfpack.